Monica Zaring uh, is a patient of mine that uh, came to see me, and um, if you ever get a chance to meet her, uh, she's just a wonderful young lady. Um, you, you can't help but uh, get caught up with her um, enthusiasm for life and and, um, and her energy and, and positive outlooks really just infectious. Monica suffers from a rare genetic disorder uh, called microcephalic osteodysplastic dysplasia. Um, which she's only one of a half a dozen uh, people in the world that have been diagnosed with this rare condition and she lives here uh, in Louisville, Kentucky. My name is Monica Zang and I'm 22 years old, currently at Bellarmine University and uh, I have a rare form of dwarfism and that's what kind of led me to have, uh, I have problems with uh, my bones and um, so I recently underwent a total shoulder replacement. Basically, our osteoarthritis of her shoulder joint. Her shoulder, uh, the cartilage had been worn off the bone and she was getting deterioration of the bone, actually eroding the bone. Well, I first started noticing uh, pain in my shoulder about last January. Uh, I kind of thought that I just had, um, you know, I just thought I slept on it wrong or something. And it was basically to where I couldn't move it. I, it was locked like this. And because of my size, I was being recommended to pediatric ones, but pediatric ones wouldn't take me on. So I was having problems finding a doctor and finally found Dr. Krupp, who was pretty excited about taking on the, <laughs> the experience. And um, you know, he pretty much said, whatever needs to be done, we'll get it done. The normal implants that are built for people that are in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, of average size, um, aren't going to fit uh, in someone of her size. Um, so we had to work with some, one of the companies uh, in the, uh, named, namely Zimmer to try to come up with a custom prosthesis or a custom implant that would fit her bone. When we met with Dr. Krebs, he was very positive that he could fix it. He said it's going to be a challenge. He's like, but we're pretty used to challenges. <laughs> Hopefully, by putting the implants in, we stop that deterioration that was occurring in the bone. If you wait too long uh, with shoulder arthritis, there won't be any bone to work with. And that was really one of our big concerns with Monica as well. Um, I would say right now we're working with um, basically getting my range of motion back. That's key is what they tell me. One of the things that Monica and I always talk about is that, you know, I do the easy part as a surgeon. Um, the patient, particularly in this case Monica, has to do the hard part and that's rehabilitate the shoulder, build up her strength, get her motion back and really she's the one that will determine uh, how uh, good her long-term outcome is. But if the way she's addressed everything else in her life is any indication, I have no doubts that she's going to do very well.